what's up guys it's Zed and this is episode 27 of the FIFA 22 player career mode and before we start I just want to apologize that uh, the way I've been uploading the way I've been uploading lately has been really rough and not that it's not that consistent because like when I go back from school every everything was just like scattered and stuff because there was a lot of footage that I had to like use that were in school so everything was just like confusing and stuff so I mean I think I'm back now hopefully and uh the, the conrad zan videos um i'm going to like end it this season and then after that i'm just going to be doing every goal he scores like the next season so like maybe like we finish this season in this episode i mean we're not we're still in like december or something so we finish it in this episode then the next episode is to be the next season like the whole season but it's just going to be showing all the goals he scored in that season and that's how the next episode after that is going to be and the next episode is like he retires there's also one more thing i need to talk about before we go into the video i am rebranding like i'm changing my name from godzilla to zma i'm sure if you guys like watch my previous videos you notice that my logo and then okay yeah my logo and then the banner on my youtube page has changed it's not godzilla anymore it's now zma what is zma zma is actually my initials that's my like, like my names and I just feel like it'd be better for me to actually like personalize the stuff rather than using a name that a lot of people already have on YouTube called Godzilla I mean last I checked there were like a bunch of other people that had that same name I just wanted to be like unique and stuff so I'm using my initial ZMA and yeah Conrad Zan has scored just 163 goals in his career and just 151 appearances I mean he's still really young I think he's 20 now or is he 21 Okay, he's 20 and he's going to be turning 21 next year so i mean there's still a long long way for him to go to to cash that ronaldo record and i'm not going to be playing this match i'm just going to quick sim it but we're even low on health or, or rather we're low on stamina and we we win it with, with penalties who scored okay we scored we scored okay we got a bridge in this match all right so one thing i don't really like about this player career mode is the fact that we can't <laughs> I mean, there's probably there's obviously a way to get up to 90, but that's just a lot of stress. I just wish it was like the other ones where you actually just grow on your own. I think that would have been better, and then those skill points would just be like helping you to go faster or something. But now the guy is stuck in 88. I mean, I could probably get him to 90 if I actually sit down and figure out what I want to do. But I mean, I'm, I'm always do that. So we're just going to leave him at 88. He's peaked. And I mean, it sucks that we're going to be picking at APA because we're such a great player. But I mean, it's it's what it is. And next match is against Arsenal, and let's see what we got. All right, so we're supposed to get a match rating of nine point zero, dribble success rate of fifty percent, and we're supposed to take three shots on target. I mean, as usual, we're going to be enhancing this one in the middle because that's the best one we're at, or rather, the best one that we're able to do. And I mean, let's see how this match turns out great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere it has all the ingredients for a really exciting game Zan Goretzka gives it a go there it is and just the ideal start Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. And a goal has gone in at Stamford Bridge. So with all the information, here's Alex Scott. It's a goal for Chelsea. They've scored the opening here. Before. And it's gone in beyond the goalkeeper. Arsenal level. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. Zan. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Oh, good-looking run. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Well, 
Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Play. Certainly no... Superbly read and executed. And room now out on the flank. Chance to cross. Can he convert? Oh, and it goes! Now he has his hat-trick. A special moment for him. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. Leon Goretzka. Zan. It's a good Liverpool move in the making. Sadio Mane! Another goal! And surely there's no way they can throw this away. Absolutely dominant. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and it makes the striker's job so... Well, the counter chance looks very real. Oh, in with a chance! Oh, a clinical counter-attack, and so close to a goal. Read there to intercept. An example of how to press. Pressing high to win the ball. A goal! On this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, it all counts for naught. Can he put it in? And fire against the crossbar. And with that, the first half draws to a close. All right, so this is where we ended the match. But before I do that, I just want to say that that Arsenal keeper was <laughs> shit. The guy was completely fucked up. He was feeling everything. He was missing everything. And well, I mean, I'm happy that I was able to get a hat trick and then two assists in this match. Oh, I got one assist. Oh, oh, oh I just like uh, created the play for that first goal that Mane scored. Yeah, and so we're close to breaking the Premier League score record because I think we were on 23 and we scored a hat trick in that match. So we're probably on 26 in the Premier League right now, I'm not sure. But here we are with the match ball, as usual. I mean, we're, we have to be we have to be like the greatest player on earth right now. I mean, there's still Mbappe, yeah. But, I mean, I, I'm still waiting for us to win the Ballon d'Or. I mean, I have no idea if we have because for some reason, the thing is never there when I check it. But I saw it in the Zilla FC career mode that I did on... On Thursday, all right. So it's January first, and we have a lot of matches to play in just this episode alone. So we're just going to try and run through the episode. A lot of guys are actually low on stamina. I mean, I mean, I mean, not that low, but like they're not fully fit for this match. But I mean, it shouldn't really be a problem. I mean, we're talking about Crystal Palace here. So all right, there we go. It's actually 25 goals. So it so it was 22 goals before, and. We made it 25 with that hat-trick in the previous match. Alright, so our match objectives are to gain 9.0 match rating, avoid losing the match and score at least two goals. We're going to be enhancing this one in the middle here. I mean, I have no idea what that one does. I mean, I don't even need to be enhancing stuff anymore because I... Because, like, we're not growing and that was the reason why we enhanced stuff. It looks most like the outcome. Well, real excitement here, I say oh, that Derek, because... Oh, Derek, what a moment this could be! He just let his opponent glide by. Well, he was on his own, but couldn't take advantage of it. Well, I'm not surprised. Leon Goretzka. Good vision. Can he get onto this? And toss it through. Oh, goodness me, he sent the post. Right there. They just have to keep creating these opportunities, and I'm sure the goal will come. Opportunity to take the lead. Well, well, there's a keeper on song. Oh, a goal! The error seized upon, and the goalkeeper left with egg on his face. Well, 
Well, just look at this again. What was he thinking? Too slow, too ponderous, and it's cost them a goal here. And to read it. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. And in with a real chance. And a goal! Real excitement here, the equaliser. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and play. Mane. And he read it really well. Fine save. Really vital interception here. Well, apologies to our viewers for having to interrupt Alex just then. To confirm, Leicester have scored in that game. They now lead by one goal to nil. To take the lead. And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama. And now they're in front. Well, here it is again. And credit to the goal scorer. But you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post cover for me. No wonder he's frustrated. Can they hit on the break? And he's broken free. And he just let his opponent glide by. And a goal! The quick one too. And they've turned this game on its head. Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really is making high pressing work for them here. Two minutes and time. Could pull one back here. Which he does. And maybe, just maybe, there's enough time for an equaliser. It would be quite the frenetic turnaround. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. Well, the game has been restarted. 3-2 here. And that is all for this game anyway. It goes into the... I feel like they shouldn't have conceded that goal at the end, but still, it was still a really, really good match for us. Salah scored at the beginning, then me, then money. And it was it was a really good match, to be honest. And yeah, we actually do deserve the win. But we didn't get the required match rating. That's, that's weird, because I, I would have sworn that we did really, really well in this match. But, I mean, we did avoid the loss. So, all right, so I've gotten three player of the month in my career. Eight teams of the week. Uh, how many man? How, how many man of the match awards have I got in this season? Eleven. That is that is actually pretty cool. Okay, so the UEFA team of the year just came out. This is the forward shortlist, and we are not here. I have no fucking idea why we are not here because we we actually have really really good numbers. I think it's impossible for us to get on this list. I have no idea why, but I think that's just how it is. And I mean that sucks, but I mean it is what it is. All right, so we're going to be simming past these two matches to the Manchester City match. We're going to play that. We do win against Burnley 3-0. Uh, we draw against Leicester City. We win in the FA Cup and we are through to the next round of the FA, FA Cup as well. Next up is the match against Manchester City. We are coming in as a sub. As a right winger, that's actually our true position. And it's actually pretty cool that we are playing there like for the first time in a long time. Uh, we haven't come on as a sub in a long time and I mean it's pretty good that we are I mean, I've, we obviously know the one that we are enhancing that is this guy over here so I'll talk to you guys after the match if you guys do enjoy these videos make sure to smash that like button and to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll talk to you guys after this match is over let's see if it helps the opposition substitution time it is no space for them here Plays it back. And simple for the keeper. He's in behind. A glorious opportunity it was. And that could loom large. He just needs to keep a cool head. He's got to score. Can they slot it home? There, but he's won the ball. Leon Goretzka. It's 
This looks promising. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. This could be it. And thumped away. And the referee blows for full time. Well, I can see that I tried. <laughs> we had two really good chances at the end there. The, the, the first chance at the end was the better of them. And I, I really should have put that away, but we couldn't. This is the first match we have played in a while that we're not scoring, but I mean, we don't mind. We do get the win against Manchester City, and we have. I mean, I don't even know who our place on the table is right now, so I'm going to have to check that. We are first on the table, and Manchester City is actually fifth, so I mean, it, it really wasn't that much of a big deal because they wouldn't have caught us in the, in the first place but Chelsea is right is right on our tail so I mean we have to actually keep winning all our matches and not fuck up in any way whatsoever all right so I was supposed to come on as a sub in this match but I'm going to jump to result because I really do not feel like playing that much against Bournemouth but let's hope that we are able to no we don't we actually don't get a goal we draw the match 1-1 and I was just talking about winning all our matches and I guess that was impossible we were able to get a good match rating and well that was okay i mean that's the only good thing that came out of that match next up is the fa cup against Huddersfield. i mean i'm supposed to be doing like the training drills to get back on the starting 11 but i don't really feel like playing the starting level we do score in this match i think there's going to be a replay we're going to play that one i think it's going to be close by so we might play it in this episode we are closer to the starting 11 and it's actually good that we can actually get up to the starting 11 by ourselves we're in the semi-finals of the FA Cup and this is the match that I would want to play from the beginning so we're going to have to do our training drills here and yeah let's go start the match all right so I'm supposed to get a match rating of 8.5 avoid losing the match as a complete 10 passes in the opponent's half I'm going to be enhancing this one in the middle here and let's hope that we're able to get into this the finals of the FA of the Carabao Cup I don't think we've ever won this one before I mean, the only we haven't won any English trophies before, so I mean, this could be our first if we win the Champions League, or rather, this would be the first because this comes before the Premier League. So I'll talk to you guys after this match is over. Damage, and this is how Liverpool, and that pass could be troublesome. He might profit from here, you know. It's still alive. Possibly. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Oh, could be a chance. Terrific save. A goal! The opening statement of the match. A richly deserved lead. And now they can celebrate. Well, let's take another look. And I'm not sure what the keeper was thinking there. Just look at his position. He made it far too easy for him to Something score. Something from this corner. And short it is. Shot attempted. And he's fired it against the post. And he's headed it in. Well, just take another look at this because he reacts so well and he then keeps his composure. It's a good finish. Overall, in this tie, it is 2 2. And he might be through here. A fantastic goal, and no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, he wasn't going to waste this chance. 1v1 against the keeper, and he slots it away with great confidence. That's a good finish. No danger here as he runs at them. The goal they were in search of. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Well, that's the end of that for now. And there it is, the half-time whistle.
Alright, this is where I'm ending this match. <laughs> it was a really, really good match for us. We got, uh, I think, two goals. Oh, we got one assist, one goal. Alright, so next up is the match against West Ham. After this match, there is the match against uh, Huddersfield. So I'm going to like, leave this match at halftime again, regardless of the results, so that I will be able to be at full full health for the match against Huddersfield. I mean, it's, it's, it's not really that big of a deal. It's just because it's the FA Cup and I want to progress and have every opportunity of winning at least one trophy this season because Chelsea's on a tail so the Premier League is not guaranteed but other than that I just really want to win matches so I have to play that whole two match just to make sure that we're not out of the FA Cup. Alright so the competition record is 32 and we are on 26 goals and we're still in okay we're just okay we just entered February so I mean, it's really in our reach. That 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 is like eight, eight, six goals away. That is six freaking goals away, and they were glitching just now. The the referees and it's snowing. We're supposed to. Okay, I, I'm going to enhance this last one here. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. It's developing nicely for them here. Reading it well. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Opportunity, and there it is, the breakthrough. That will do nicely. Well, as we see it again, he was never going to miss that, was he? That's a really simple finish in the end. Under pressure and opting for power over placement, but not the... And getting close to half-time with Liverpool in front here. Stuart, what strikes you about what you've seen from them in the first half? Will he finish? And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it. Let's give credit to the defending. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. All right, so it's half time, and we're ending the episode. We're also going to have to end the episode here because something came up, and I have to like stop recording now. So I mean. If you guys enjoyed the video make sure to smash that like button also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll talk to you guys in the next episode peace